Good morning, guys. Hey, welcome back. I'm back. We have been on a long vacation, and it has taken me a couple of days to get uh, revamped back in this house, trying to get things back up and going. I'm still on vacation mode mentally, I think, but that's okay. We're going to move forward today. Um, and when I started this channel, one of the things I said to myself is I'm going to keep it real for all the viewers because, <clears throat> excuse me, it doesn't do any of us any good to make up things because this is real life and it is what it is. So, having said all that, um, I did not follow the first calorie count or anything remotely. I did try to watch what I was eating and not go overboard, but I ate what I wanted and I came back feeling non-guilty because this is life. And I have not weighed yet because I do have, um, like sometimes when I travel, I get water retention and just my body's off. So I try to give it a couple of days and then I'll reweigh. But as I'm feeling right now, I feel a little bloated. It could be that time of the month, but I'm going to go, um, with the fact that maybe I got some water retention I need to get rid of. So I'm going to work extra hard the next few days to kind of get back, um, in the shape of things. So today I'm going, I've been intermittent fasting. I haven't eaten breakfast. I've just had coffee. And from what I've researched, you can have like a tablespoon of um, like half and half or something and it doesn't break your fast. So for my what I eat in a day today, like I said, start doing the intermittent fasting. I'm just not gonna break my fast for 16 hours and then I will break it. And then I'm gonna show you what I eat for the day. Um, and kind of go forward like that. So, and I am gonna get to the grocery store today and show you a little bit of a haul, hopefully. So, it's just kind of like, you know, it's life. This is what the whole point of my channel is to show you that don't stop living to lose weight. I have done this all my life. I have gone on trips and when I get back, I can't get off the, the binge is what I call it because you just go and enjoy yourself. But this is where I'm gonna make it different. I'm gonna make it where I go and enjoy my trip, but when I get home, get back on track do your um, calorie count, keep moving forward, but enjoy it while you go. And that's where I'm at with this whole channel, trying to say you can live life, but you can also have results. So anyway, let me get my coffee going. My house is a disaster. I've got laundry for days, but let's move forward. Okay, guys. So I have been doing a fast for close to a little over 15 hours. So I'm going ahead and break in my fast. I am going to, uh, I love Nukes. I, if you have a Nukes restaurant anywhere near you, I love their, um, I think it's called Every Everyday Salad or Nukes Favorite, Nukes Favorite Salad. And it has the best ingredients in it. Um, and I'm going to dupe this salad for my lunch today. Even though there's a, this is a salad at Nukes, it's still 1200 calories. Um, so I'm putting everything in except for the croutons. I'm omitting the croutons. And they use a sherry vinaigrette, which I'm sure is good, but I love ranch on this. So I'm gonna do my version of ranch, which is the yogurt ranch. So I'm gonna dupe this and it's so simple. You just get some mixed greens and I've got the lower sugar of these um, cranberries. I'm gonna use this in it. And then I ended up found, these were already chopped artichoke hearts. So I'm gonna do those and some pe pecan halves and some blue cheese. And then I ended up getting some deli chicken, which is in the salad at the restaurant. Um, and I think that's everything. So let me show you how I'm gonna put this together and we're gonna cut out half the calories. I think it's 1200 calories on their website. So we're gonna do way less than that. So let's get this put together. Okay guys, so I ended up bringing this total salad, including the dressing down to 391 calories. That is amazing because basically I'm duping one of my favorite salads from a restaurant, but I'm saving the calories. So I've got my mixed greens here with nutritional value. And basically I have everything measured out here so I could show you guys. So this is half a cup of artichokes. Now I love artichokes. If you don't love them like I do, you can take that down a notch. Uh, this is half an ounce of my blue cheese. And I'll be honest with you, I'm probably gonna end up adding more of this eventually, like on my next salad, but today I'm just gonna leave it there. And then I did two ounces of deli chicken. 
And then I've got two tablespoons of my uh, cranberries. I have six grapes cut up and then two tablespoons of pecan halves. So I'm gonna take this and toss it into the salad. Okay. And the last thing I'm gonna add will be my dressing, which I went ahead and put the whole serving size um, of the two tablespoons because on this, something about this salad with ranch, I don't know, it's, it's my favorite. So I'm gonna do the two tablespoons for this. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this is one of the best salads I've ever had. So to be able to bring the calorie count down to that is, I'm just so excited. And I'm gonna go eat my salad and I will see you guys for whatever else I come up with. Okay guys, so we are headed out. I've got some errands to run. So I'm going to, this is my favorite time of the year because we get these fresh cherries in our area at the farmer's market or grocery store and I love them. So I'm gonna take some cherries and a few strawberries on the road with me for my snack today. Trying to do light things as far as salads, fruits, lots of water to kind of get my system back um, going with the way I should be eating and not vacation eating. So that's what I'm taking with me today. Um, and I'm probably gonna go under calorie count today just to help myself a little bit more. That's between you and how you feel, but that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll see how it counts out today. Like I said, I'm gonna take some fruit, hit the road, make sure my water's with me and just get lots of hydration going. All right guys, so we just pulled up to Hobby Lobby and I was gonna tell you, this is one of my tips at night when I get snacky watching TV, is I've started making little jewelry bracelets that I see a lot of moms my age wearing on like, um, like to know it and stuff like that, but they sell out fast or they're too expensive, so I'm gonna make my own. And it keeps me busy at night, so let's go get a few beads. So I totally meant to film me in the store and went in there and got overwhelmed with all the beads on sale. So here's my little Hobby Lobby haul. Um, I've got a bunch of these little silver beads and I'm gonna make, I got two packs of those. I'm gonna make the little bracelets that everybody, you know, you see all the cute little just ball bracelets that everybody's wearing. And um, my wrists are thicker, so I have to make my own until I lose some more weight, which I'm working on. And then I got some gold ones. And then I love these little, like, I don't know what you call these, but just to like, you know, wear, wear with like graphic tees and jeans and stuff. So anyway, that's my vision. And I'm gonna get to making some of these. I'll have to show y'all when I get done. But like I said, it keeps my hands busy. And at night when I'm watching my shows, I don't uh, wanna go binge eat and snack, 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 snack. So that helps me. It's just a little hobby I picked up to help me through this process and I actually enjoy it. So anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Headed to the grocery and uh, we'll probably do a little haul when we get home. So we made a quick stop out and about and I'm just gonna show you all I got is a grande. Um, this is, all this is is iced coffee with half and half. I'm gonna count this as 50 calories because I really don't know how much they put in there. So I'm just gonna go over a little bit. That'll be my little pick me up. Okay, guys, we are back. Here's my little grocery haul. So I always try to grab these mini cucumbers. They are so crispy. They are good in a pinch. I can do um, these right here with it sometimes, or I do, uh, a little bit of whipped cream cheese and some everything with the bagel, but I always try to have these on hand. Then I've got um, a thing of center cut bacon. This is good to have because it's lower in calories and sodium. So I usually go with the center cut if I'm gonna have any kind of bacon. Um, and then right behind that, I've got my almond milk. This is what I was gonna show you guys, unsweetened and right here 30 calories that's the one i buy it's my favorite i've tried a lot of them and that one tastes the best then i got these laughing cow cheese wedges i love these the light ones and i'm going to show you this week hopefully um i'm going to take these sweet peppers and cut them in half or, or maybe cut the top off and put this in it with some jalapenos and make my own little sweet pepper snack so that's good 
Um, I did stock up on my Sun Chips. Kroger had a really good buy with these today. So I got that one and the blue one. Okay, so then I, I saw these were on sale, the Chobani Zero Sugar, and these are only 60 calories. The ones I love, um, normally love are 80, but I thought I'd try these and let you guys know how I like it. So I got the lime, uh, strawberry cheesecake, and lemon. And, of course, you know, I've been making a bunch of um, cheesecake stuff, so I got a couple more of these Zero Sugars. Oh, we've got some extra toasty Cheez-Its because I we go to the lake a lot in the summer and I'm going to count these out and I'm going to put them in a little Ziploc and that's going to be my snack. And then they had these almost for nothing. So I went ahead and picked the little minis up too. Those, these just help me with my crunch satisfaction and I don't feel like I'm doing too bad because they're not high, you know, they're lower in calories. Um, have you guys ever had cotton candy grapes? Well, that's what these are and they are amazing. So... Got some of those, um, and then I got some of this uh, au jus gravy that I'm going to use tonight in my supper, and some coffee. I'm going to try the Dunkin', and then I haven't tried these either, guys. I love bubblies, so I'm going to do the bubbly burst and try those, um, and then a pepper and an onion to go with my uh, meal tonight, and some more Skinny Pop. So the rest is my kids' stuff, so I just thought I'd show you my snacky things. And uh, that will be it for the haul, and we'll be making uh, supper here in just a little. Well, I have worked up an appetite now since I got home, so I'm going to have three cups of my Skinny Pop. That will give me my crunch I'm looking for, and that will be all I have until supper. And we're not too far from supper, so I'm just going to do a little bit of this, and see y'all here in a minute. Okay guys, so for supper tonight, I'm going to use my um, deli chicken that I used in my salad today. Um, I somehow always buy deli anything, turkey, chicken, whatever it is, and we will let it go to waste. So I'm trying not to do that anymore because it is expensive. So I'm gonna use it tonight for my supper. And basically, I'm just gonna make a chicken, chili, uh, like a Philly cheesesteak with chicken. I'm going to use one of these hoagie buns I got from Kroger. Um, now, I have the calories for this, but normally I would use like a keto hamburger bun or a hot dog bun, something a little less calorie. But because I have the points, I'm just going to go for it and use the bun tonight with the chicken. I'm going to do a bell pepper and some onion and kind of saute everything. And, of course, I'm not using the whole bell pepper and onion, but I'm going to use a little bit of that, saute it, and the very end, put, throw the chicken in there and kind of warm it up. Put it on my bun with a little bit of the thin cheese that I have. Mwah, it's going to be so good. Then, the, the best part is I love this uh, au jus, au jus, whatever you call this, to dip it in for my, like, French dip scenario. But that's what we're having for supper. Okay, let's get to cooking. Okay, guys. So, for the sandwich, I've got my... Onion and pepper, you know, how many, how much you want on your sandwich. I may have enough for tomorrow. I'm just sauteing this in my olive oil spray. And then I've got my three cups of water in the back going. And basically for the gravy mix, you just do three cups of the water, get it to a boil, pour this in there, whisk it, and it's that easy. So that'll be my dipping sauce. So I'm going to finish sauteing this up a little bit. And I think I'm going to add a little dash of Worcestershire seasoning to give it a little bit of a cheesesteak flavor. And we'll just uh, assemble this here in just a second. Okay, so guys, I'm going to put two ounces of my chicken that I measured out and just kind of mix this in and heat it up a little bit with the um, peppers and onions. And honestly, I think I'm gonna put the peppers and onions on the side. I like to eat those by themselves, that's just extra vegetable. So I'm gonna make this whole serving for my sandwich. Once it kind of shrunk down a little bit. I'm gonna heat this up. Just another dash. And then once this is done, you just top it, you know, on your sandwich with your cheese. So we'll give this a second or two. 
So I'm going to use one slice of this provolone. It's 70 calories. And put this on the bread. And then once I add my topping, that should help melt it. Um, but I have been known to throw this in the microwave too to kind of help it a little bit if that doesn't work. So just put on there your cheese and then top it with your toppings. I don't know why mine's tearing apart. Okay. And then I'm going to put mine down here because it's so much, but oh my God, it's so good and I'm starving. So you just kind of top this, let that do its thing. And then on the side, I'm going to put, hang on just a minute. Okay, sorry, I had to find a bowl. I'm out of dishes right now behind on that too, but I'm going to put my juice right here to dip this in, and there is my supper, and I'm probably, all I'm going to have on the side is going to be a side salad with a little bit of my mixed greens, feta cheese, and some ranch. So let me get that assembled. Okay, here is my final results with a sandwich the au jus, and the side salad. And if I don't get full from this, we got issues because this is a lot of food and it looks so good. So that's my supper. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap up this video for the day. I'm glad you guys were able to join the day with me. It's good to be back from vacation and back at it. Um, so as I sit here, I'm watching my show. I've got my little... Um, string for my beads. I have a pack open and I've been sitting here about a good hour and look what I've accomplished. Hang on, let me show you. Turn around. So I just think they're so cute stacked and that's what I work on. Just bracelets like this for me with different colors and stuff. So thought I'd update you guys. It's just very uh, satisfying to sit here mindlessly uh doing something like this and i'm not eating so okay guys i will see you in my next video you guys have a great weekend